Yaoundé, a bustling capital of two and a half million people, and home to the biggest hospital in the region that specializes in gynecology, obstetrics, and pediatrics. It's here that teams of Chinese medical specialists are helping, part of a medical cooperation program dating back 50 years that now reaches across the continent. Teams have been working in Cameroon for 38 years. The skills are desperately needed. The hospital was built and equipped by the Chinese government. So in terms of our working relationship, we have a hospital where Chinese and Cameroonian expertise is put at the fore with uh, uh, one team made up of the uh, people from both countries, uh, but working to make sure that the health of uh, the mother and child in this institution is at its best. Caesarean sections, cleft palate operations, and over 6,000 successful births this year puts this hospital as the top choice for women and children in Yaoundé. The hospital's outpatient center. Hundreds of patients a day wait to see the doctors for consultations on anything from family planning to antenatal care. But a different approach to medicine at the hospital is fast becoming popular among patients. Acupuncture. With word of its positive effects spreading fast, the treatment rooms are usually filled with patients, most of them with muscle-related problems. It has a lot to do with the weather in Cameroon. It's hot and very humid. There's generally some rain every day which results in conditions such as arthritis and rheumatism. Paletta Du has been studying traditional Chinese medicine for the past two years, having visited China three times to perfect her acupuncture expertise. She is determined to make sure patients keep coming back. I learned here with doctors. I also went to China to learn acupuncture. John Manumbo lost feeling on the right side of his face after a car accident. This is his fifth visit to the clinic, and he's happy with the results. I had uh, a non sensitive area on this, uh, on the right part of my face. So uh, after three times, to it starts to be sensitive, and till now it's going better and better. This is Dr. Howe's fifth year working in Africa, her third in Cameroon. In this time, she has overcome language barriers and lack of equipment. Many aged Cameroon patients call me mama. I feel that they say it out of respect and also out of gratitude. So in return, I call them mama as well. We respect each other. For the medical team stationed here in Yaoundé, their goal is to ensure every day at work is spent changing someone's life for the better. We bear in mind what President Xi said in Congo Brazzaville to fully dedicate ourselves to the local healthcare despite all the challenges. Love is borderless. Maria Galang, CCTV, Yaoundé, Cameroon.